hugely successful. So first, Thank congratulations. You. Thank you very much. Uh, I, I know that, that you've had a lot of press and questions mm -hmm. uh, being asked about um, why you released some of your top wines early. Yes. If you can talk um, about that, the reason behind that decision and also um, the quality of the 2012s, which I thought were really fantastic, especially in Pomerol and you know where you see um, the, the quality level falling mm -hmm. compared to the, maybe the past 10 vintages. Alors, um, for for the, the release of the wines, uh, um, we, we are very lucky to be both uh, wine producers, mm -hmm. uh, but our main activity is to be a wine merchant. So we are in contact with, with the markets, mm -hmm. and when we visit people, uh, um, they are not always as polite as they are with the wine producer. <laughs> when you, uh, someone comes in to give a dinner, they say, oh, we love your wine, You're, we love you, come back more often, we need more of your wine. Yes. Uh, uh, but that's because they are very polite. Uh, uh, with the negociant, when we bring offers, uh, uh, the, 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 polite, the business takes over the politeness and they say, no, this wine, I, I want half of it, I don't need that much, etc. Et uh, so we, 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 we hear the, 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 the message of the market mm -hmm. and, um, and the message of, of the market this year was surprise us. Mm -hmm. um, we understand that you had great vintages with 09 and 10, mm -hmm. uh, fantastic vintages, and no one you know, can, can yes. counter that. Um, the 2011 vintage was a little more difficult, mm -hmm. a little more austere. We will see how it develops. So the, the bottling is, is happening right now, mm -hmm. so we will soon have a, a true vision of the, of, of the vintage. Yes. Um, the prices at the time, people made efforts but maybe not as, as big efforts as the market was expecting. Mm -hmm. um, and so they, they really wanted to be surprised. So we decided to release all our wines, including our top wines, as you mentioned early, yes. um, and we lowered our prices mm -hmm. um, because this is what the market uh, requests. Mm -hmm. However, it was not a, a quality decision. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. The quality of, of the vintage, we are quite happy. Uh, and I must say, it's, it's not our style to, 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 to say that. Uh, we always try to, uh, to, to be more, more um, uh, I mean, not, not pretentious, uh, uh, but uh, um, it's more <laughs> modest. Uh, uh, but, but it's true that uh, um, it's, it's a vintage where we have managed to, to keep the fruits. Mm -hmm. uh, and the fruit is important in wine. We, we believe that wine is made to be drunk. Mm -hmm. uh, um, but you have we, a lot of rain, especially towards the end of September and October. Alors, we, yeah. we had actually a lot of rain during the spring. Mm -hmm. Um, yes, which, well. which put uh, uh, the, the vines and nature in general into a situation where it was a situation of opulence. Yes. Uh, it was warm and, and wet, so the vines were drinking and growing, and we, we, we trimmed our vineyards, I don't know how many dozens of times, mm -hmm. because it kept, it, it kept on growing. Mm -hmm. um, and then we went immediately into a drought situation from July 20th, yes. when, 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 the, when the rain stopped, and we had some very warm days. So, so the vines had the heart, the, the, the needed to be helped by the soil to adapt to the, those extreme changes. Mm -hmm. um, and then we had some rain that arrived late September, mm -hmm. uh, only at night. Mm -hmm. Small showers, uh, two three millimeters, mm -hmm. but it helped uh, the, the the vine restarting its 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 its, its maturing process. Mm -hmm. um, and then, as, as soon as we, we had gained those those two days that we were lacking, and all all of us were waiting for mm -hmm. uh, because it was a late harvest. Uh, um, as, as soon as we had the, that humidity that came back, the the the, the, the fruit was was uh, uh, was you know matured, finished its maturity uh, uh, at. at at, at that time, and we had to harvest. And Merlot um, was earlier than Cabernet. And Merlot, as always, was earlier than Cabernet, even if we had waited quite a long time for the Merlot, and so the Cabernet at the same time were, were, were maturing. Okay. Um, so we all harvested at the same time, right bank, left bank, etc. It was a big mess. We, 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 everybody lacked uh, uh, harvesters. We had some gang fight in the Medoc, <laughs> and uh, it, it was quite oh, fun, I must say. Oh, that's interesting. No, 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 that's, uh, it, all of that because of the weather, crazy. Yeah. Uh, and then the, then the rain really arrived around the, the, the 10th, 11th of October, yes, uh, yes. where, where then, then it really started to, uh, to rain until yesterday, actually. Yeah. Uh, so so it, was, uh, it, it, it was quite complex. Yes. So the, the, the advantage of, of, of Pomerol, as, as you mentioned, yes. is warmer soils, mm -hmm. so slightly uh, faster matu uh, maturity, presence of clay, mm -hmm. uh, uh, which retained uh, uh, quite a bit of humidity during the summer. During the summer, yes. therefore allowing the vines not to have such a, such a big uh, uh, um, uh, sort of heat 
due to the change of, uh, of uh, the extreme change of, 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 of climate. Mm -hmm. um, and then the Merlot grape, which of course matures earlier yes. and, uh, and so was, was, was fully matured uh, uh, when, when, when we picked it. Mm -hmm. um, overall, I know some people are talking about 98 vintage, which is sort of an easy shortcut because uh, we had sort of similar co uh, conditions at the time of the harvest. Yes. Um, I don't think we will reach the, 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 the complexity of 98. Yes. Um, if we manage to produce a 2001, we'll be very happy. Oh. Uh, sort of pretty vintage, early, uh, an, an, an early drinking. Yes. Um, my father actually during the harvest was talking about 71. Um, which I have a hard time remembering, <laughs> um, especially because uh, since in 71, the, 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 the 71s were showing so well when he got married in 75, so as you can un oh, understand, right. I, I, I don't remember. Yes. Um, uh, they served the 71 to, 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 to my parents' wedding yes. uh, because the wines were on already open. Uh, open and pretty and well balanced. Yes. So, we, so he, he, he mentioned that vintage during the harvest. Hopefully it will be, it will be as good as the 71s, Fantastic. but we'll see. Congratulations. Well, one, just one quick question yes. about the market. You, you mentioned you're listening to the market and hearing the feedback. I mean, are, what, what are the most um, potentially positive markets for 2012 that you see around the world, anywhere in the world? Well, I mean, first of all, we have our traditional markets, which we have never left uh, sure. as a company, Belgium, England, Germany, Switzerland, etc. Right. Uh, France, of course. And which seems strongest? And. Um, well, I think in England is, is quite strong this year. Okay. Uh, they, they haven't bought any 2011, mm -hmm. and, uh, and the English still need to drink wine. So, so mm -hmm. I, I think they, they're, they're, they have a will to, uh, uh, to, to, to look at the vintage. I'm not saying that they're, they're going to buy, but at least they're going to look at the vintage. Okay. Um, then I think we have a good potential in the States. Okay. Um, I, I was there a couple of weeks ago, and, and I saw that uh, um, People were attracted by, by the, the, the ref, more refined and more balanced wine, which is the definition of Bordeaux. Mm -hmm. uh, so so we, have, uh, we, we have a, a good card to, to, to play there. Okay. But again, we have to show to the consumers that we, we, we think of them and, and, and we, we don't try to, uh, to rip off their, their wallets uh, uh, each, each time they buy a bottle of Bordeaux, which is the image that we have today, which is a wrong image because yes. it's the top, top end. And, and then we, you have the thousands of properties uh, who are extremely approachable. And, uh, and, and suffer from the image of, 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 of the top wines. Yes. Um, and, and I think Asia, I'm not sure Asia en primeur because it's for a for, 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 for market like, like, like Japan or, or, or Hong Kong, uh, which are mature markets, uh, there, there's, there's a good potential, I think. Yes. For the new markets like, like, like China, uh, 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 I'm not sure, uh, I'm, I'm not sure that the en primeur will, will have an interest. Mm. But there's, there's some wines that are ready to be drunk to be enjoyed there, so, so it's fine. We, we have enough for everyone. <laughs> Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you very, very much. much. Thank you. Thanks, Edward. Great.